hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this shell applique the shell applique can be used in a number of ways uh, you can turn them into earrings or you can stitch them on to an afghan uh, the way i am planning to use them is to stitch them over a ocean themed wall hanging so i will be making those videos soon so i hope you watch those videos as well so I'll be using a hook of 3.5 mm for today's project and color you can use any color so here I have used white and pink as well but the tutorial I'm showing you using a brown yarn so make a magic ring and then chain one uh, you can take the magic ring off your fingers and into this magic ring we will be making eight single crochets so uh, details related to the things used and the brand of yarn all those additional details will be available in the description of the video so do refer to the description as well so here we are making eight single crochets into the magic ring and once we are done with eight single crochets we will pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring now generally at the end of a round we slip stitch but for this pattern we are going to work on top of our uh, previous uh, round so this is our first stitch and we will be working only in the back loop so this is the front loop and this is the back loop so we'll be working only in the back loop and we will be working on top of our previous round so make one single crochet on top of the first stitch on the back loop and then we'll use a marker so if you do not have a marker you can use a yarn of a different color and pull it through the stitch to mark it or you can even use uh, pins so I have marked the stitch just to make sure uh, to identify it is at the starting of this round. So make another single crochet in the same stitch. Similarly into the next stitch make two single crochets. So here for this round we are going to make two single crochets in each stitch or you can also say as we are making an increase in each of the stitch. So continue making two single crochets in each stitch till you reach the marked stitch. So once you reach the marked stitch, so we are now going to remove the marker. So we'll remove the marker now and we'll be working on top of this stitch and here too we'll be working only in the back loop and we're going to start off by making a half double crochet and then you can mark this stitch and into the same stitch we are going to make one more half double crochet so the second stitch as well will have two half double crochet so i have uh, shown the pattern for this round above so the first two stitches will have two half double crochets in the first two stitches and followed by this we will have two double crochets in each stitch and this set of two double crochets uh, we will repeat for eight times that is in eight stitches we will make two sets of double crochets so the, this is the second set so in the second stitch we are making another two this is the third set here we are making another two double crochet and all this time make sure that you are working only on the back loop so continue making the sets of double crochets over the next eight stitches and once you have completed the set of eight double crochet eight sets of double crochets then next we will be making 
sets of treble crochet so this is a treble crochet so after making the first treble crochet make another treble crochet in the same stitch so for a treble crochet you will be yarning over twice and pulling through two sets of uh, loops uh, three times so this is a second set and this is the third set so yarn over twice pull under the stitch pull through first set pull through second set and pull through the third set so make these sets of treble crochets so we will be making nine sets of treble crochets or you can say we are going to make two treble crochet in each stitch for the next nine stitches so here uh, the there is no point of having this marker because uh, after making six stitches uh, after working on six stitches we will still have three more stitches to make the treble crochet on it so you need not apply this marker for this round but I just wanted to make sure and wanted to identify the end of this round so I had placed a marker but this treble crochet will be continued on top of these stitches as well because we need to make nine sets of them so till the marker we will be completing six sets so on top of the marker also also we will have to make one set and then so we will have three more sets left so one set on top of the mark stitch and we will be making two more sets on the next two stitches so this is the next one and this is the last set so here uh, the base pattern is almost ready so now the only thing that is left to do is to work on the front loop and we are going to work with something called as a reverse single crochet or a crab stitch so for that first chain two and for the reverse single crochet we'll be working only only in the front loops so these are the front loops so we have the front loop left in the center also because there we had worked only on the back loops <clears throat> so this is the stitch or the front loop of the stitch and here the front loop can be easily seen as well so for uh, working a reverse single crochet insert your hook to the previous uh, front loop of the previous stitch pull the yarn through the front loop uh, and then when you have two loops in your hook pull through both the loops so make sure to keep the yarn loose because you're going in a backward manner and you will have to twist and turn your hook so keep the yarn uh, and the stitches loose and as you can see pull through both the loops so once again we are going to insert into the previous front loop pull a loop and then pull through both the loops so when you pull the loop from under the uh, stitch it will come uh, it will be pulled in in a twisted manner see it gets twisted here and then through this twisted uh, loops we are going to pull the yarn through it. so pull and here we have the two loops now pull through both so I'm showing you this multiple times because uh, when you start off it might be a bit difficult to get a hang of the stitch but uh, if you practice once or twice uh, you will find it easy and also if you would like to um, check out how to make a crab stitch or a reverse single crochet you can youtube it and practice the stitch uh, as well so here we have completed uh, this uh, reverse single crochet uh, over the stitches till the point where we have only the front loops now so here we have only the front loops if you can see so insert your hook into the front loop pull the yarn and then pull through both the loops so it's uh, the same that we do here also only thing is here we don't have two loops we have only one loop left 
and we have to insert our hook into that one loop available uh, in the stitch so it might be a bit difficult to grab the loop here so if you find this difficult what you can do is you can use a smaller hook as well uh, to pull out the front loop and then insert your hook and make your stitch so do the same what we have been doing so far and you can bend the a pattern a bit so that the front loop is uh, more uh, accessible to you and then pull through both the stitches so basically we'll be continuing this um, reverse single crochet or uh, crab stitch till we reach the uh, center stitch so you have to continue this till we reach the center stitch so continue this pattern and I will show you just few more stitches and I'll show you the part uh, uh, of the center part uh, how to uh, finish off this pattern so it's basically all the same of finding the front loop inserting your hook pulling a loop in a twisted manner and then pulling through both the loops so here I'm almost done I just have few more uh, front loops or few more stitches left to make the crab stitch so this part as you can see we have another layer of crab stitch just on top of it so it might be a bit difficult to find these front loops so you can bend the pattern or uh, bend it this way so that the stitch is accessible to you and so the pattern for this uh, shell is pretty simple the only part where you might find it a bit difficult is doing the reverse uh, single crochet or the crab stitch on top of the front loop so as you can see I'm using a smaller crochet hook just to pull out the front loop so that it's easier for me to enter my uh, crochet hook and make a stitch so we are almost at the end of this round we have another two stitches left so here I'm going to make one a reverse single crochet and in this last one I'm going to actually do a reverse slip stitch you can say so it's just like a single crochet you pull your yarn through the previous uh, stitch and then pull it through this current loop as well and after this chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then you can trim off the tail yarn now this tail yarn you can pull it through the center uh, to the other side to the back side and you already have a tail yarn from the beginning of this pattern and you can uh, place a knot to secure uh, it so that it does not unravel and once we are done with that our pattern is ready uh, the tail yarn at the back you can uh, use a needle or a crochet hook and pass it through some uh, other stitches in the pattern and then trim off once the tail yarn is secure enough so now you can trim it off similarly for the other tail yarn just pass it through some existing stitches and then trim it off so here the shell pattern is ready i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial uh, please uh, do uh, subscribe to my channel if you found this video useful also click on the bell icon for notifications on new videos and give a thumbs up to this video guys and thank you very much for watching and i hope you all have a very great day